Captain! Hundred hands! Ah! <laughs> oh, it works! Hey, hey, can I mess you back? Go, Jan. <laughs> I'm gonna. Sure. Alright, go home. Wait, can I have my shoe first? Okay. There you go, homie. Come here, buddy. Come here, homie. I miss you, homie. This is the one. This is the one. What's up, homie? Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the video. A lot of people like it when I start off my videos with Gohan. So that's what I'm doing. Let's go chill. All right, so today's plan, we're gonna be fixing up the Celica. So just gonna stop by the hardware store. Really gotta take care of it this time around. So TLC day for the Celica. Um, probably install whatever we, we haven't really completely installed yet, including the TRD spoiler, because some of the bolts are stripped on that thing. So first stop, well, parents' house to eat lunch. And then we can probably head over to Auto Value and pick up whatever else we need. Let's get today started. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you got eye boogers. Gross. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Bye, Goheen. Oh, you wanna come? Come inside. Come on, Nico. What's for lunch? Mmm, sinigang nang isda. Do you got Bigger, bigger. Go on, why you sad? Okay, my brother's getting me to wear this sh particular shirt for this experiment. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happens. Okay. Screen. Oh, really? Yeah, that's pretty cool. You even got the sound. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Man, genius. My brother's experimenting on me. Well, if this ends up working, I'm gonna put the clip right here. Excuse me, sir. Okay, see you, Jeff. Thanks, yo, send me those clips. Put my feet on fire like Sanji. It's pretty cool. Let's head over to the new shop. I think it says that it's supposed to be at least plus 12 today, so yeah. Should be a gorgeous day today. What I find is actually most Canadians like to start off their conversations if they have nothing to talk about by talking about the weather. But now it is almost springtime and no one has anything to complain about. Most conversations aren't gonna have a negative connotation behind them. So should be a good spring. All right, quickly stopped by Auto Value and picked up whatever I needed, including lights. So I'll just replace these first. Give it another quick wash before we bring it into the bay. The actual paint itself is pretty scratched up. So plan on doing just a stage one body polish. Nothing like too crazy. Um, but try to get it as close to showroom quality as we can to the naked eye. And then I do plan on bringing this home. So we gotta make sure that all of the body pieces that we installed ourselves are properly installed. Uh, including the TRD spoiler, which we have yet to put back on. Thing is, when we tried to install it in the last video, I uh, found that two of the inserts where the bolts go into were stripped, and also I just needed bolts. So we went ahead and got those, and today's plan is to install the TRD spoiler properly. First things first, let me show you guys how to replace your low beams on a Celica. Today is full Celica day. Let's get it. So we're switching out most of the lights on this car to LED. And for those wondering, on a Celica, the dome light is this size, 3175 BP. It's actually the same for a lot of GDM cars. And then for the headlights, it is H7 bulb. The one we opted for is the Philips bright white light. Super easy install, but on the back, as you can see, turns it from this yellow halogen to 
the bright white LEDs, which also at the end of the day saves you more energy on your battery. We'll start with the dome light, and I'm gonna try to do this with my nails. F that game. I'm just gonna need a flat head. So this is before. Now usually, to prolong the life of the bulb, you wouldn't be touching it with your fingertips, but this is the old one. Just like so. Perfect. Go ahead and put this back. Test it. What the? It's the same color. What? Okay, I think these are just replacement bulbs. Now that's done, we can go ahead and replace our headlight bulbs. So actually what we just changed were our high beams. The low beams are right here. So, to get into that, like I already unplugged it, but there's actually this rubber cover around it. And you have to take that off to be able to get to the actual bulb. Just unclip the two metal brackets. Should have your bulb. All right, let's test this out, finally. No! Thank goodness. Insanely easy to unplug this. So, just take this out. And then, there's this metal clip that you just unpry. And then, you have access to this guy. Oh, fika! Unless you drop it in there. Then, you can just take this out. Take your new one. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Nice. There you have it guys. Now I can legally drive at night. Let's bring her around the back and give her a quick wash down. And then we can start on all the other goodies. <laughs> So this is the TRD spoiler that we're going to be installing on the Celica today. But before we do that, there is some Bondo work that I got to do on some of the pieces. Also, I didn't buy it in the most pristine condition, but I did get it for a steal. So it'll be like killing two birds with one stone. While we're waiting for this to dry, we can get started on the body polish on the Celica. Let's get it. good polish. Try to get that showroom quality paint back. Actually, in this light, it's so much easier to see all the scratches. Gross. Okay, take a good look, okay? I'm gonna get rid of all that. Where you really want to pay close attention to is around the glare. Not as many noticeable scratches as before. Getting there.
I think that's it for the polishing. I mean, I could have spent hours on it, but honestly, it's good enough for what it is. And also there's this like stuck on grime on the paint that I really just can't get off. So maybe I'll leave it to the professionals. Hey, Angus! <laughs> just kidding. I think I did something wrong, man. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Like the roof is okay, yeah. but even after I wiped it off, it looks hazy. Was it like that before? It was. Before? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I see, I see. You definitely have to. You know what, I'm just gonna borrow your polisher. Sure. It's like four little dime beads. Yeah. Let's try it. Uh, light, light pressure. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Bring out the heavy dudes. Ah, <gasps> uh, yes, he did. Oh my gosh. He did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked. Damn. Okay. I had lost faith for a little bit. So now we know we can actually still get it to this. Everything's good. All we really got to do is give it the time and effort. And I don't have that right now. So let's go check up on our Bondo work. So it is a good idea to wait a full 24 hours for the resin to completely dry, but I think we can probably sand this side down. And there are no additional holes that we covered, so the idea is to just sand it down and get it as close to this shape as possible. And that isn't going to be too hard because we did pretty good lining it up. And then also, the stripped bolts that I was talking about on the spoiler is this little piece right here. So if you take one of the screws, it goes straight in. If you can see that. So it's pretty loose. Uh, my idea is to take an actual nut cert, make the hole a little bit bigger, but then glue that in there somehow. Probably Bondo or something. So before we install the spoiler, we're gonna install these things. They're like headlight covers or eyelid, eyebrows, whatever you wanna call them. But I just think these are gonna make the headlights look a little more aggressive. These are like 80 bucks off eBay, eBay is my go-to for any of you wondering for cheap stuff. <laughs> Usually the 3M on this stuff is stupid, so I'm just gonna re-3M it. And also my plan is once I wrap the entire car, I'm probably gonna wrap these gloss black. For now, just to save time, I'm gonna throw them on like this. Matt's okay. Stays on. Cool. It kind of reminds me of Spider Man's eyes. It actually looks pretty dope. Alright, on to the last thing the spoiler. Like I said, we're gonna have to make this hole just a tiny bit bigger so it can fit this nut cert. Nice, almost. Beautiful. Once you got your template, I marked the holes where these little pegs are supposed to go through. So it's gonna be easy for us to drill exactly where we need to. And also, this is an exact mirror of one side to the other. So, all you gotta really do is flip it upside down. Just stick it into the pegs. For these outer holes, it's almost like the Supra. You have to drill all the way through two layers, uh, about like an inch thick. Got both. Nice. Okay, again, should really wait for the resin to completely dry, but 
It's dry to the touch and pretty decently hard. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sand this side down with electro sander. And also while we have the sander out, my plan is to just sand the entire top of the deck lid as well. Pretty roughed up. Next step is to spray it with primer. Except before we do that, we're probably gonna touch it up with some spot filler. Just make sure the surface is completely smooth. Tried to get off as much of the old paint as I could. Nice, dude. All right, so we got both sides secured. The spoiler makes the trunk a little too heavy for the hood dampers. So it has to be all the way up. Any lower than that? Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, it still holds up. Sweet. Spoiler's officially on. That looks pretty badass. Now it looks like a real Celica. Or these are the Celicas that I grew up to know on the roads. The ones that came with the TRD spoiler. So now this is a TRD. X veil side crossover. This is even running the TRD exhaust. Damn, that looks so good. All that's really missing now is a drop on coils and wheels, and then that's it for phase one. Then of course, we're gonna wrap it. Our staple Kelly Green, because I want to be like Stradman. Have a full cartillary fleet of cars that are all one specific color, which is your favorite color, and mine is Kelly Green. This is gonna be green. So last step, install the third brake light, and We'll see if the covers, they're probably dry enough, but we'll throw those on and then this install is complete. I actually had to make an extra hole for the wiring to go through. I'm looking at it now actually. Toyota made it insanely easy for you guys to be able to do this yourself. All the wires are color coded. So really you just gotta match the colored wires and splice them to the corresponding ones. And for this one, we're gonna be doing the black and white as well as the green and white cable. Right here. I'm be using these guys. Alright. Let's see if I did that right. Is it on? No. Really? Are you pressing the brake? Uh, it's not on. Really? I think I have it 100% correct. It's just um, sometimes if you're using these, the metal actually doesn't cut the rubber part of the wire correctly. And right now I doubt that the wires are touching each other. So let's try with this. Actually, that's the exact tool I needed, man. Okay, I'm using needle nose. Gonna try to crush the middle of it. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah. We'll just step the brake. <gasps> it works! Nice, dude. You got it. You just have to press it harder, man. Yo, thanks, Ed. No problem. Okay, third brake light works. Uh, now I probably just gotta rewire this somehow so it's not dangling like this, but. Yo, can you press on the brakes one more time, homie? Yeah, for sure. <gasps> that looks sick. It's a different shade of red, but. Looks good. Cool, man. Thanks. So. What we basically did was we riced down my Celica today. <laughs> well, there are hand-me-down parts that I picked up for the Celica, and now that we have the Celica back in my hands, we gotta go through these Ricer Boy stages, okay? And that's pretty much how I started this channel with the FRS. What I mean when I say Ricer Boy stage is the beginning stages of any car build where you really don't have all that much funds to afford car parts and you're just solely relying on your resourcefulness. So all the cheap mods you gotta get out of the way like plastic dipping your emblems, changing all the lights to LED. We took it a step further and actually put like body kit pieces, but if you guys remember that concept that we created on Photoshop a few weeks back, this is actually getting close to our vision. So 
This was always part of the plan. And that's usually how I carry out these ideas of mine is I Photoshop it. Well, how any art piece works is it is created three times. It has to be visualized first, conceptualized, and then once you have that rough idea, you gotta put it into the physical plane, whether it be a photograph, a rough sketch, a Photoshop edit. And then once you got that, something physical to actually look at gives you a better idea of which direction you really wanna go with. That's it. I'm really just crossing things off the list because it's already been created in my mind. I just now have to physically create it for you guys. And that actually goes with a lot of things in life too. You really gotta visualize things first before they happen. And then really gotta just go for it, you know? You never know unless you try. And then the sooner you try something that you thought wasn't for you, at least you get to figure out that much faster if it is actually for you or if it isn't. And then you can just backtrack. And that's what they mean when they say you have to take a few steps back to take multiple steps forward. That's it, guys. I'm gonna just end this video because sometimes I like to beak off. I am planning on doing a Q&A in one of my next future videos. So if you guys have any cool questions you wanna ask me, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and maybe I might just choose your question. I'm trying to make them interesting. I usually choose the more fun questions. Just really excited that I get to take this home today. It's been months. Appreciate you for watching. As always, drop some likes, leave some good vibes in the comments and ask some questions if you want to. And I'll see you guys on the next one. This Peace. is the future. Evolution. This is the future.